covering with a couple of fuzzy socks and they took a nap. So he's not himself. All right. This is our panther chameleon that came in a few weeks ago. For all intents and purposes, the lentifica was completely negative. Our health exam was fine, but sometimes uh, the disease rears its ugly head whenever it can. We were noticing a strange behavior last time with a, a possible sinus noise, but he wouldn't do it often enough for us to know what was going on. It looks like as of now, if we're going to put two and two together, our buddy here was probably having some really, really early respiratory tract disease, maybe like a sinusitis or something. Anyway, but as of today, we actually have some open mouth breathing. I'm stalling on this film so we won't get it actually on film. So when somebody sees this in their own chameleon, they'll go, Whoa, wait a minute. I've seen that somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> so we're trying to get that behavior on film. He's so cute. He's exhibiting himself. Go for the other view. There it is! Ta-da! And that wasn't a, uh, a threat. Because I get close and it's not a problem. You're going to climb on me, don't you? Don't you? Mm-hmm. Very cool. Very beautiful. We're smitten. <laughs> These guys are always awesome. There you go. <laughs> Wanna do it again? Make a noise. Or the gaspy thing. Sorry, it's not very noisy. There it is. All right. Thank you. <laughs> so anyway, we have seen this in many other species of chameleon and lizards and snakes. Um, so whenever you see a behavior like that, that usually is a sign of some early respiratory tract disease or pneumonia, um, including parasites in the lungs and trachea. So there are many things that can cause this. So um, don't doctor Google it. Just know you saw it here first and we'll take care of it from there. All right. Okay, turns out this guy's not a very good drinker, so we are not going to do the antibiotics in the water situation. We're going to send him home with some oral antibiotics. I am a big fan of fluoroquinolones because they're a very good broad spectrum. They're one of the only classes of drugs that have been approved for reptiles and exotics um, by the FDA. So we're going to go ahead and start with that. We're also going to send off a culture. I've already gotten my sample. And hopefully if we're on the wrong antibiotic by this time next week, we'll actually know exactly what to expect. So handsome. Yeah. So handsome. And the colors are awesome. I would wear those as scrubs. <laughs> Actually, I'm close to that now. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we have a plan. So if we're on the wrong antibiotic, you won't be seeing much of an improvement between now and Monday. You can give me a call Monday, let me know if we're not. And at that point in time, I will start hunting them down. And if I get the culture in, what usually happens is I'll look at it immediately. If we're on the right antibiotic, I'll put you on my people to call, let you know it's okay. If we're on the wrong one, I'll like have you on the phone within five, ten minutes. Okay. Okay. Could we weigh him, see if he's got yes. anything? We get that we get that done. But it just it's just so so handsome. <laughs>